Dear students and fellows of the Max Planck Schools, dear participants, dear colleagues, it has been a great pleasure to officially kick off this third year of the Max Planck Schools together with all of you. Unfortunately, we could once again not meet in person as the pandemic still holds its grip on all of us. This afternoon, we had the chance to listen to the inspiring speech of Professor Silberhorn on her very own passion for science. Thank you, Professor Silberhorn, for sharing your experience and thoughts with us. Many of you have just started their first major scientific project, certainly an exciting and rewarding stage in your career and in your life. Yet, it is almost inevitable that as a PhD student, you will also go through moments of doubt, of frustration and even of disappointment. Please let me seize the opportunity to assure you that in such times, every fellow and staff member in your school, at universities and research institutions and in the entire MPS network will do their very best to support you in pushing through any difficulties and in reaching your goals. But even more importantly, I wish you all that in such moments you can recall and reignite your own passion for science, which is what you brought here to the Max Planck schools in the first place and what will help you succeed in what you want to achieve. The second lecture and discussion of today addressed the important topic of diversity and excellence in science. On behalf of the steering committee, I want to thank all panelists and participants for their insights and contributions to this captivating debate. I would also like to add some remarks here. As I highlighted at the beginning of my speech, we continue to feel the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on our everyday lives as citizens, but also as students, researchers and university presidents. We adapted to online classes, virtual conferences and video calls faster than we could ever imagine. Even at the Max Planck schools, which were always destined to rely on digital tools more heavily than other graduate programs due to the decentralized nature of the schools, reality outpaced our plans. And although many of us long to meet again in person, I am optimistic that we will be able to benefit from these experiences, the technologies developed, the skills gained for years to come. Other developments are more concerning. If we turn a blind eye now, the progress we have made to strengthen diversity could be jeopardized. We have seen reports that women in particular had to dial down on their research publishing less, securing less grants. We know that many students lost their jobs during lockdowns and those who could not rely on financial support by parents or other family members struggled to continue their studies. International travel was disrupted and many researchers and students had to postpone their stays abroad for an unknown period of time, hitting those in early career stages the hardest. As decision-makers and academic institutions, we must bear these extraordinary circumstances and their inequitable effects in mind when we evaluate researchers and take decisions on individual careers for years to come. I consider it an important step that both in the German Rectors Conference and in the Alliance of Science Organizations in Germany, we have already passed resolutions to draw attention to these developments and potential pitfalls. But let me be clear, preventing setbacks is a necessary but in no way sufficient step to strengthen diversity and excellence in academia. I want to quote another president here, let's build back better. Implementing mechanisms and procedures that allow us to take individual circumstances into account more comprehensively and more specifically will approve recruiting processes in academia in general. Identifying the best and brightest without discrimination leads not just to fairer, but also to better science. After today's discussion, I'm even more confident that we can succeed in this endeavor. The next generation of researchers will continue to challenge bad practices where and whenever they occur, and they will demand solutions. To conclude on this positive note, I hope that you can start with your next session, the networking part of today's event, with the same enthusiasm that you have brought to our debates so far. 
Thank you all for your participation in the Max Planck School Day 2021 and I look forward to welcoming you back again next year, hopefully in person, here in Berlin. <laughs>